Bob in here. That behind me, that's Camp Casper. We're a family of three with two stupid dogs and we all live in a camper. It's so much fun. We haven't always lived in a camper and we're not homeless. We're choosing to do this. This is our choice. And I'm going to document all of it right here on Snapchat. Why on Snapchat, you might ask? Well, because I have an addiction to Snapchat and I find it to be a really easy way to document my day. So what better way to do this? Over the last few years, our family had kind of grown apart. We were doing everything we could to keep up with the Joneses, and we weren't happy. This is making us happy. Really happy. So, we've pretty much been living in our camper full-time for a couple of weeks now, but we still have some loose ends to tie up. We've pretty much gotten rid of everything that we used to own. We still have a few things we have to get rid of, and the really sentimental things we're probably going to be putting into storage for a little while, somewhere. But you know what? It's such a relief to get rid of all of it. I know to some people it might seem crazy and you might be like, wow, I could never get rid of all my stuff, but it's so freeing just to let go of all that junk. Just junk. Honestly, you don't need nearly as much stuff in your life as you think you do. It's really just weighing you down. You can get by on a lot less and be a lot happier. None of us feel like we have left or lost anything at this point. We could not be happier with our decision to do this. And every day just gets better and better. The main thing that I've learned over the last couple of weeks and I've really started to realize is that the American dream is total bullshit, people. It's total bullshit. I mean, really, society tells us that we need to buy a house, we need to settle down, we need to stay in one place, but it's just not true. And you can be a lot happier the other way. Did you know that the average person over their lifetime will spend 47% of their income on their housing? Almost half of what you make is going to go to housing. And that doesn't even include the rising taxes that you're going to be paying on that property for the rest of your life. I mean, brick and mortar housing, it just doesn't make sense when you really start to look at it. The only reason most people do it is because that's what they've been told is normal and that's what they're supposed to do. But, you know, I just don't think that that's really the way that we were meant to live. There's so many things we can get into about this as far as cost savings and all that stuff, and we will eventually. But my intention is to document all this and put it all on Snapchat. So, I'll probably even upload a lot of this to YouTube, and you can follow me along over there, but you can also follow along right here on Snapchat, real time. It should be fun. All the ups and downs. Oh, Daddy's home. Uh, it's Saturday. I don't usually work on Saturday, but Jason sometimes does. All the doggies are pretty happy to see that he's home. Yeah, it's an insanely large shopping center. lead line because he keeps running away but now Jason can't decide which dog tag he wants to buy for him because he wants a new dog tag so me and Elizabeth are looking at the birds. So I'm you're over here behind me. He's so cute. I feel so bad for him. I hate that he's in that cage. I wish we could take him home but no. No, no birds. But he's so cute. Petco has a large amount of animals. I'm kind of surprised. Ooh. I totally don't really support that but whatever. I'm just here to get a lead line for the dog and a dog tag so most of the animals seem like they're really healthy and happy other than the small cages so I don't know I still don't like the sell of birds. Elizabeth seems to be having a lot of fun playing with the birds so they seem to be having fun with her too. Check out this chameleon. He's so cool. Chameleons are like the coolest I swear. Gotta love the chameleons. I wish I was in Tijuana. Eating barbecued iguana. <laughs> For the record, I would never eat barbecued iguana. I like iguanas, I wouldn't eat them.
we got to leave line for Smalls, but of course I have to take him out to go to the bathroom now, right now, because we don't have it up yet. But um, we stopped and ate at this place called Zaxby's. It was okay, I guess. They were playing religious music, and Elizabeth totally choked on her chicken sandwich, but um, so we ended up leaving early. <laughs> but now we're back, and we're just out here walking Smalls and enjoying that beautiful moon with the clouds in front of it I just showed you. It's very peaceful out here, very quiet. So that's the night so far. So it's Saturday night and I did stop by the liquor store and get me some little pina colada drinks that I'm about to crack open. Elizabeth's about to go to bed, so adult time. So I probably should have got some ice for this pina colada stuff and mixed it somehow. But I didn't. But I got a Yeti cup, which will keep it super cold. They're decent. I just wanted to try something other than beer, you know, tonight. It's Saturday night. So, yeah, I'm just out here drinking under this pretty moon now. One somewhat unique feature of our RV, which I'll give you a tour of the whole RV another day, is this little outdoor kitchen, which is way above my head right now. Unfortunately, the area that we're parked in is kind of up on a... a there's a little drop down right here, so it's lower than, than it should be normally. Well, it's higher, but, but it's got a little refrigerator, a microwave, a sink with hot and cold water, cabinets, storage, um, as well as lights, and the grill, barbecue pit that swings up. Like I said, I'll have to give you a tour of the whole RV another day. We have a really nice RV. It's 36 feet long. It's a bunkhouse, um, but we really like it. We also have speakers on the outside and a place to bring our TV out and put it under the awning right next to this kitchen, which makes enjoying the outdoors really nice. I really love this feature. It just makes for a nice little party, little entertainment area when you have guests because you do spend a lot more time outdoors when you live in a camper um, than you do indoors. So Jason's inside watching a Law & Order Special Victims Unit Marathon and I'm outside drinking pina coladas. Not a bad way to spend the night if you ask me. I guess that'll conclude my first video. I'll just leave y'all off with a shot of the beautiful moon that I'm out here staring at. Leave you with the noises that I'm hearing. The bullfrogs, the crickets, and the wind. That's all you hear out here.